ladies and gentlemen, Jordan Sparks, a, a, a face that we haven't Hello. seen in quite some time. How are you? I'm good. And how are you doing today? I am doing quite well. Um, good. I, good. Um, I enjoy watching you with your son and your husband. I mean, your your family Thank is beautiful. Um, I Thank hope. Thank you so much. I host the Quiet Storm on Magic 102 here in Houston, and I do a, a feature called Love Stories, where they'll write love in story. the love story, how they met or how they proposed or something sexy, funny, maybe a I miss you or whatever, yeah. and then follow it up with a song that they dedicate along with that. Your love story of how you and your husband met is incredible. Would you, would you mind sharing your love story with me? Yes. Um, okay. Uh, it happened really quickly, but it can get to be a long story. So long story short, um, I went down to Houston. Uh, we were doing some work shining a light on organizations that were making a difference down there. And we spent some time at this organization and we really fell in love with the people who worked there and everything that they were doing. And it was really, really nice. We spent a lot of time down there. Ooh, excuse me. Bug just flew into my eye. I'm sorry. Excuse uh -oh. me one second. <laughs> Uh, it's okay. Um, so, sorry. Um, so anyway, we went down to Houston. We're shining a light on organizations that were making a difference. We fell in love with the people down there and everything that they were doing. And we realized that, you know, they were really good people and we would love to visit them again. Um, about a month later, my mom was like, Hey, uh, do you mind if we do a group group chat with, um, Bridget, who's one of the directors down there and her son, he's about to move out to LA. Um, she just doesn't know anybody else out there or anybody who can like give him advice. Are you willing? And I wasn't willing to give my number to anybody at the time, but for some reason I was like, you know what? Okay. And my mom and his mom put us on a group chat and that's pretty much where we were introduced to each other. He wasn't down there the month before. I didn't meet him in person. It was just through text. And we went to another text thread and never stopped talking. We met in April. We started talking in March. We finally met in April. We got married in July and we found out we were pregnant at the end of August. So <laughs> it was really fast, but, but I knew, I knew he, I opened the door and I saw him and I just, it just, it hit me. And, um, he, he knew as well, but like, it took him a little more time and I wasn't going to say anything. I just was like, Oh my gosh, I can't believe that this is happening. Um, but yeah, he is, he's everything. Like I know in my bones, he's the one I'm supposed to do life with. He is, he is it. That that's beautiful. So, so what song after that? Well, the song that comes to mind for me, if I had to play a song after that love story would be he is by Brandy. Oh, that's a beautiful song. Yes, we can do that. And then I would love to dedicate, he already knows this song is about him, but it's off of my last, uh, or off of my new EP that I dropped this summer. It's called Deja Vu. And I wrote it about, mm. about him and our love and how crazy quick it was and how I adore him. So you can play that one too, if you feel yeah, so No, <laughs> no, no. Deja Vu is the one. I mean, you wrote a love song for your husband. I think to me, that's the greatest yeah. gift that one can give someone like to share you yeah. know, your creativity and your art and to write a song for the one that you love. Like that's the greatest gift I've ever given someone. So I feel like that. I love is that. And it, it was beautiful for, uh, for a few reasons, just cause I felt like I had writer's block for a while before, like when we met, it was just really hard. I was so inspired by him and by our love. It was just very hard for me to like get it out. So to finally have a song for him means a lot to me. Indeed. Well, listen, um, throughout quarantine, you know, people are itching to go outside. I mean, outside has been, you yeah. know, closed for a long time. But you, yes. my dear, have embarked on a great uh, um, endeavor and concert with the Indoor Water Park Resort in Round Rocks, yeah. Texas. Like, how did this yeah. come? I mean, it looks amazing uh, behind you. You picked Isn't the perfect crazy? spot to sit. It doesn't uh, even look real. It doesn't even look real. I mean, come um, on. Yeah, so how did all of this come about? It's been amazing. I actually experienced Kalahari last year. I got to take my family to their uh, resort in the Poconos. And it was amazing. There's something for everyone. And I didn't think that you could really top 
something that big and grand, but they topped themselves and everything is bigger in Texas. So down here in Round Rock, you know they it. now have opened a new one um, that is 1.5 million square feet of space. And the great thing is they opened at half capacity. So if people are feeling hesitant, there is a ton mm -hmm. of space to safely enjoy yourself. Um, but there is everything. Behind me, these are the hotel pools. We got the water park right behind the camera. There's a spa, there's 20 food options. Like there is so, <laughs> there is so much here, but it's beautiful. And they're following all state and local guidelines um, for social distancing, cleanliness and sanitation. So if you're hesitant, they are following at all, all the rules and, and guidelines for that, but you need to do what's best for you and your family. So if you're comfortable, come on down. And if you're not, it'll be here when you're ready. And if people need to uh, need more information, they can go to kalahariresorts.com. Listen, you have been having a ball at Kalahari. I mean, I saw some of the pictures of you having the time of your life. Here's one with you with the uh, yeah, drink there. Yeah, it, it was a blast. Yeah. So um, with the new EP that's out, Sounds Like Me, have you had a red sangria at <laughs> Kalahari? Oh <my> <laughs> Um, actually, no, I did not have a red sangria, but I did go straight for the pina colada. That is like my drink of choice. So I went straight for that. But um, thank you so much for taking the time to speak with me today about all of this. And um, I'm glad that it finally worked out. There were so many tech glitches earlier as well. Oh, and I was gosh, like, you know yes. what? It usually happens with me. Like I get around technology and it just goes nuts. So <laughs> please don't apologize. Well, thank you like for this, we're all just, we're all just trying to make it. Indeed. Well, thank you for your time. Don't miss Jordan. She's going to be performing at the 94th uh, Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade on Thanksgiving morning. That'll be on NBC. Of course, go to Kalahari.com and check out the uh, Indoor Water Park Resort in Round Rocks, Texas. And, uh, and we're, we're looking forward to your new uh, show. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so, so much. You guys, happy holidays and stay safe. Indeed. You too.